another episode of It's Never Too Late, where we believe it's never too late to follow your dreams, start something new, and have some fun. Always have fun. <laughs> Last week, as you remember, we were at Loretta Lynn's ranch where she was having a music festival and a motorcycle rally. That's fun. Yeah. You see those kids riding around that track? <laughs> as adorable. <laughs> they were great. So we're going to continue this week with more of the Loretta Lynn motorcycle rally. We're here watching the slow races with motorcycling. It's a lot harder to ride slow than it is to ride fast. So the last one across the finish line, without putting your foot down, wins. Super, super slow down here on the track. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. is she in there? Yeah, a little girl. Yeah, I see her. <laughs> Come on, kid. Your eyes are doing good. Yeah, guy in the yellow bike. You are on. 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 Ice cream before dinner. <laughs> How is it? Mm, yummy. <laughs> Motorcycle Group USA. Uh, I'm here at the Tennessee Motorcycle and Music Revival, and I've got a ride going out tomorrow, a woman's ride to Appleton, uh, Harley Davidson. But right now I'm here with Marine, and we're enjoying just everything here. It's a beautiful day, the sun's out. Great day to be friends. Absolutely. Hi. <laughs> just got back from the rally, and we are having dinner at Loretta Lynn's Kitchen. Lynn's friends. Oh, of course. Oh, look at this. Glenn Campbell, Willie Nelson. Loretta Lynn's clothes. And wow, very cool. Lynn's, yeah, a lot of motorcycle stuff up here. So Loretta Lynn wasn't there. We didn't see her. But we had fun. We had a great time. What was your favorite part? Oh, those kids. Those <laughs> kids starting out riding around that track racing like, oh, man. I mentioned the rally, and that's all I could talk about is those kids. They were adorable. <laughs> I, I kind of like the weenie bite competition. I did that oh, once. Remember yeah. that? That was too fun. So much. Mustard all over your Mustard face. Mustard all over oh, your face. Yeah, hysterical. it was a lot of fun. But the best part of any trip is the people that we meet along the way. Absolutely. And uh, and Clayton, we're still in touch with. That was the guy we met at the gas station. He followed us, and we still stayed in touch. Great guy. So now, after we left the rally, of course, we're on. Can you say what? on the road again? On the road again. We're on the road again. <laughs> all right. You see all this stuff? We fit all this stuff on two motorcycles. Most people don't come with that much stuff in a car. Somehow we managed to do this, right? What are you going to do? We've gone for... Five weeks now. Five weeks? Five weeks! 
Damn, my mouse <laughs> miss misses me. <laughs> We took these absolutely beautiful roads to get to the Ark Encounter and let's see if we can see it now in the distance. There it is. There it is. There's the Ark. Whoa. Exciting. We told Curtis it was going to be an extra $50 for the bus ride. We were going to walk it. You should have seen the expression on his She's face. so funny. <laughs> it's not. It's part of the ticket. Here we are. Got our tickets, we get a little bus ride to the Ark. Okay. Here we are walking through the rainbow. And that's going to take us right to the Ark. What you can see in the background. Look at the size of that. Let's go see it. Come on. <laughs> Give you a little idea. Wow. Size of people. How does build this thing? Size of Ark. I have no idea how he built this. Lots of stairs to walk up here to get to the Ark, to the inside. That's thunder. Storm is coming. I'll tell you something. It's kind of We better creepy. get on the boat. It is kind of creepy. Now, when you first come in, you got the chicken coops. They have lots of fresh eggs for sure. Whoa, look at that. These are the jugs of water they took. Rose and rose. I'm hoping that's what had the wine. I think I would have needed a lot of that. This is multiplying moths. They had to feed the animals that ate bugs. So that's why they had to bring the bugs on board. I never thought of that. Slimy. Oh. A Scutosaurus. That's an old guy who rides a motorcycle. Wow. So, in answer to the question, why do we still have snakes and bugs and mosquitoes? Is because the animals had to eat them. So they had to come along for the ride. But the fascinating thing is, we're actually sitting in Noah's Ark. Yeah. With all the animals. Mm -hmm. The wine, the seeds, the plants, the trees. It's amazing <laughs> how he did this. How many years ago? About 4,000. At the age of 600. Yeah. I don't that want to hear you. Good old days. I don't want to hear you live. complaining you're 60, you can't do it. Look at the size of the tree trunk behind us. Look at that. It's just one of the things holding this up. Think about doing that without heavy equipment. Pretty All right, this is the question I had. What the heck is a cubit? Well, a cubit is equal to the distance between a person's elbow and the tip of their longest finger. They believe the Ark was about 510 feet long, 80 feet wide, and 51 feet tall. This is the Titanic. This is the Ark. It was half the size of the Titanic. Wow. We're going to head up to deck number two. The tree trunks are bigger than Curtis. They're like two Curtises. They're like two Curtises. And this is one of the smaller ones. Stand next to it. Look at the size of that. It's amazing. 
That's more than more a than cubit. A cubit <laughs> now those are really, really good questions. Let's find out. So we learned why it's shaped like this. They would have a little rooftop thing that had windows in it. And they'd check out the windows to the side, oh, no, see if it's still raining. And if, kind of doors. Right. And then if it wasn't they raining anymore, it. they'd open the top. And the, light and the light would come down these shafts, and it really gives a lot of natural light the way it's designed. So animals that needed natural light could get it after the rain stopped. And then the rest was the lanterns, the oil lamps. This is the door the animals came in through. Look at the size of that. Of course, you had to have blacksmithing. Yeah. Up to level three. This is the history of the world, starting all the way back here with Adam who lived 936 years, I believe it was, and it's got the whole timeline here. And what I didn't know, and I thought this was fascinating, is that Methuselah talked with Adam for 243 years. And Methuselah learned the whole history of the world from Adam himself and wrote it down, and that's what's in the Bible, at least in the Old Testament. I think that's pretty fascinating. Jesus here in the year 4,000 4, years after Adam. Very fascinating. You can get one of these in the gift shop. I think I'm going to do that. So now we're at the zoo here at Noah's Ark. Yeah. Yeah, the kangaroos are hanging in the shade today, so we can't pet them. Uh, can't be bothered, huh? Not paying attention. All right. I got an apple. You lying. A carrot? <laughs> Right. Don't listen to him, he's fibbing. Had a rough day. We have a little armadillo. And there's a sloth doing what sloths do. Sleeping. Gray crowned. Gray crowned cranes, and I dare you to say that five times fast. But aren't they beautiful? They don't look like a gray crown. No, it looks like a gold crown, actually. That's so romantic. Oh, that's a Look at that. Eating each other's bugs. Aww. Whew. He says, stop it. Go away. Oh, Not in the mood. Huh. Oh, and there he comes. Leave that one alone. Oh, he ain't taking no for an answer. Little lemures. Love their tails. You want to see it? Yeah, I want to eat them. <laughs> you don't eat them. <laughs> what do you see? Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come on. Where? All right. I finally found some animals I can pet. Hello. Hello. Aww. Hello. You like that? Oh, they took your horns off. Mm -hmm. Oh, you sleep on You got horns. Hey. Hey. They must have all thought he was crazy in the middle of the woods, cutting down a forest. To build this. 75 years they think it took. <laughs> that is an amazing structure. It's, it's just, it's just overwhelming. It is, and we have to come back, we decided. Yeah, no doubt. We, yeah. we missed the kitchen and the bedroom somehow on the third floor, and we're not sure if you can get up to the, uh, the fourth, where they had the observation through the windows. I'm not sure. It's but. just, it's just something you, you have to see. Just to feel the immensity of the structure that they built it took like 75 years. Show, them. Show them. look at the size of this thing. It's half the size of the Titanic, which gives you it some kind of Noah idea. It took Noah and his son 75 years to build it. And he was over 600 when he started. 600 years old? <laughs> what happened? See, it's never too late. What do I keep telling you? It's <laughs> never too late. <laughs> 
Noah's Ark was amazing. It was a lot of fun being on that giant boat and realizing what that family went through to save themselves and the animals. <laughs> and it only took 75 years to build. Yeah. The information that they give you there is just amazing. Questions that you wouldn't even think of. They were raising moths just to feed the reptiles. They have a commercial now where they have the, the family of giraffes. Well, they didn't take the whole family. They took all the babies. That's how they did it. They didn't take the big elephants and the big giraffes. They took the youths, the babies, because they ate less. They poop less. They, they weigh less. They weigh less, and they would live longer when they got off the ark. They'd have more years to reproduce. So that's how they did it with those big animals. They took the babies. It, it was an amazing thing to see. Then, of course, you have to get rid of the human waste, the animal waste. They had a whole system in the in the ship for that. It, it was just amazing. And how did you keep the plants alive? Well, they had that thing that you, you saw it opened on the top, and it would get fresh air in. It would also get sunlight in for some of the plants that needed it. So it was really, really well designed. And uh, it, it was just very exciting. If You really felt like you were part of a, a, a biblical story, literally a biblical story. It was very cool. They, they answered questions that you wouldn't even have the question for. Yeah, yeah. So it was very cool. We highly recommend it. Noah's Ark in Williamstown, uh, Kentucky. Kentucky, right yeah. Memory. You can see us in this picture, the last day of our planned trip. And you can see we put on a little bit of weight. Oh, Every shush. Episode. You can still see the ark behind us. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Barely. We put on so much weight on the show. I mean, you saw us, what, we ate every time. It's like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. We eat everything. Me. Ice cream. Banana oh. splits. Oh, ice yeah. cream, right? All that stuff that we ate. Well, I mean, it's got to go somewhere. We weren't exercising. We're sitting on our butts most of the time on the bikes. So we got home. We had to do a little bit of... Dieting, a little exercise. bit of dieting, but it introduces our next song, and we thought that this would be quite appropriate right here. When we first started <laughs> going out, I was doing a lot of dancing, so I was—I mean, I was in shape. I was then. I was everything was watching my diet and salads and this and that. He starts taking me to biker bars, bike rallies. I my diet went like kaput. So I put on almost 17 pounds. Go get some ribs. <laughs> uh, I put on almost 17 pounds the first year we were dating. I want a turkey leg. Yeah. So oh, what I did so was good. I wrote a song called Biker Food, and there are pictures of me in there from before and after and all the food that you eat at bike rally. So being this show had a bike rally in it, and being we were talking about putting on weight when you're on a trip, we thought biker food would just fit in perfectly right here. <laughs>
grocery store Oh, buy good food, it's no good, it's no good Fattening by good food I never knew they made a size 4X Well, that's what you wear when you live on Tex-Mex And we're back on the road again. And of course, the best part of any trip is always the great people that we meet. Meet Rocky. He is a movie star, so he has to travel incognito. But he, uh, he did say hi to us. <laughs> and he likes pizza. <laughs> and he likes pizza. I love the glasses. Look at that. Is that movie star quality or what? That's Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Well, eventually we made it back to our hotel safe and sound And peeled off all our leathers till purple skin we found By the way, it don't wash off, you're walking great for days Takes the same to dry out leathers laid out in sunlight's rays I live to tell the story, he didn't shoot me, well not yet But I still get a wholesome chuckle from the night I can't forget story to tell less the conversation lag and the lesson learned is never ride without rain gear in your saddlebag we were underneath an old pass with the rain up pouring down the wind was blowing sideways and trucks were being tossed around we were soaked right through all leathers from our heads right to our toes well that's how it is with biking yet our love for it have a beautiful day to ride and we left from around Columbus Ohio this morning we decided we're close enough to home we can make it there tonight and we're both kind of anxious to get home so we are taking highways all day today and just gonna cruise about 530 miles to get home so right now we're almost into Erie Pennsylvania on Route 90 we're getting there see you on the road and after the highway, we finish up our ride with the beautiful roads of upstate New York. Oh, that air is amazing. We're back. We made it. We're very We're grateful. Home. <laughs> Only a 5,000 mile trip. It was great. We did that all in what, five weeks? Yeah, Something five like weeks and two days. We saw a lot of good stuff. We're going to tell you guys all the, about it. Yes, <laughs> and the best part of it is being home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See Thank you, later. God. <laughs> um, let's see it. The mile, there it is. The, from Key West. <laughs> Zero mile marker. On route, on route one. one. Yeah. Is that amazing? First use at home. Uh huh. There it is. Look how good that We're works. Celebratory wow. drink. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good trip. Mm. Oh. <sighs> nice to be home. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Love being on the road, especially with the motorcycles. We do, but but it's nice to get it's home great too. To be home.
Thank you so much for joining us on our five-week trip on the East Coast. We had a blast. As yes, you we did. <laughs> Most fun was eating all the food. <laughs> Again, now we got to diet. Now we got to be good. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot's tricky. We don't like to do that. We hope you had fun. Maybe you learned something. And don't forget to always add things to that bucket list mm -hmm. because you're going to keep checking them off as life goes on. You got to add some more to it. Hope to see you again soon. In the meantime, God bless. And remember, say yes to every opportunity. And have fun. fun. <laughs>